You are hosting Saturday Night Live for the first time. Yes. Oh, this is a very exciting for you. I'm literally, I, I'm upstairs. Yeah, you're two floors I've come away. down from rehearsal, <laughs> yeah. where I was wearing rather filthy dungarees, I have to tell you. <laughs> uh, I was rehearsing, and, um, and they said, hey, it's time to do Fallon. So I just <laughs> glammed up, came down two flights, and well, it's extraordinary. Yeah. But well, those people, how do they do it? It's amazing, right? Isn't I, fun? I, I mean, I used to write sketch comedy, but I mean, I did it over months and during the day. So maybe that's did why it didn't work it? out. It didn't work out? You were, yeah, you had a show called Thompson. Yes, I did. It, I did. How many episodes were there? There were six. That's good. That's six good. half hours. Yeah, that's more than, more than five. It is more than five, yes, <laughs> and, le and less than seven, yes. Uh, <laughs> but what was, the, what was the show about, really? It was, well, it was all the things that I had ever thought about. I mean, my, the first sketch was about auto-cannibalism, which was my not last word on dieting. You know, so you kind of ate yourself to within an optimum body weight. <laughs> and so some people kind of would like genius. cut pieces half off themselves, the pieces they didn't like, and eat them. Yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of weird. <laughs> kind of dark? Uh, yeah, sort of dark, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but anyway. You also did stand up comedy as well. I did. How was that? Um, well, um, it depended on when I did it. Uh, for instance, at the time, a lot of my material was about. Uh, herpes and Margaret Thatcher, wow. who were both very big at the time and kind of similar. <laughs> um, you know? That is very uh, good. But I mean, I did stand up at political rallies. So oh. I did stand up on Nelson's column really? in front of 64,000 people at, get this, a Reagan out rally. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm that old. James. No, no, I mean, no, I mean, what a gig that is. Yeah, it was a terrible there. gig. I, I died a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> really? No, Just... no, it was, it was, it was, you don't, you mustn't ever do jokes at a political rally because no. everyone's so cross. <laughs> so serious and so mad. At just you. mad, mad, you know, and people come up and just say, why don't you just shut up? Yeah. Stop saying, you're just stupid. <laughs> just shut up. You know, and I'm going, you go, hey, anyways. I'm not Ronald Reagan, okay? <laughs> I know we want him to leave the country, but please don't get cross with me. Uh, well, you, you just got a big honor. You just uh, became a dame. Yes. Uh, that's a, that's a beautiful, congratulations. Thank you. Look at you. You look fantastic. Look at you right there with uh, Prince William. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I, want to, um, I want to talk about your movie. I'm very excited <gasps> oh. about this. Late Night. Yes. Very interesting to me. Yes, yeah. playing a late night talk show host. What's that all about? I <laughs> don't know. Everything <laughs> I know about talk show hosting, I learned from you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You heard it here first. You heard it here. I cannot wait. I, I mean... This is written by Mindy Kaling, right? Yes, wonderful, darling, brilliant Mindy Kaling, who, who wrote to me and said, could I meet with you because I've written something for you, at which my heart, frankly, sank. Because when people write things for you, it's often not a good idea. When yeah. something's designed for you, it do often doesn't. I just thought, oh, God. OK. And then I read it, and it was one of the best scripts I have ever read. It's getting rave reviews. Congrats on that. Oh, but thank I mean, you. Thank it, you. W what is it basically about? I mean, I know you play a talk show host, but... I play a talk show host who's been at the top of her game. And, of course, as you know, there are no female late-night talk show hosts at all. Um, so she's, she's held on to that, that crown um, with fierceness and, and commitment. But she's kind of lost her edge and she's got a bit complacent. And she has no women at all on her writing team. And it's about this young woman who um, is a great fan and wants to write in a writer's room, like, you know, SNL upstairs. I mean, I've just seen it all, the real thing. Yeah. You know, absolutely extraordinary. And, um, and it's so the same, it's so the same. Like, you know, everyone sits in their own particular place and there's all sorts of strange undercurrents going on between people. I'm saying nothing. And, um, <laughs> and Mindy's just, she just is so brilliant. And the, it, it's very smart. And it makes a lot of very good points without making points. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. I'm very proud of it, and everyone in it is so good. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Emma Thompson in Late Night. Take a look at this. I came to tell you this year is your last. What? This season is your last. You're cancelling the show? No, I'm cancelling you. The show is irrelevant. The ratings reflect that. Do you want to know who Jimmy Fallon had on last Tuesday when you had Doris Kearns Goodwin? Robert Downey Jr. They washed a sheepdog together. It was glorious. <laughs> That's right! 
That is right. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Emma Thompson, you know there's only one thing left to do. Yeah, you can see it coming. Would you like I to wash a sheep dog yes, together? Yes, 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 of course I would. <laughs> Come on! Hi, buddy. Hi, pal. Oh. Hi, buddy. Hi, pal. Hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Oh, yeah, what a good boy. Oh, oh what a Are good dog. Are you loving me? Good no. Boy. Do you know what? This actually is f glorious. <laughs> Emma Thompson, everybody! Late Night is in theaters June 7th. See her hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend. We'll be right back with Sophie Turner. Stick around, everybody. everybody. Hey,